Good morning children. Welcome back. I hope you are all safe and healthy. I am Mrs. Sitara, your computer science teacher. Today we are going to learn about Microsoft Excel. Come, let us see what is in store. In today's session we will learn about MS Office package and what are the contents of MS Office. Then about Microsoft Excel how to create a workbook and the parts of excel window dear children you would have heard of the term microsoft office or ms office it is a collective name for microsoft's set of home and business productivity software now you will be wondering what is software what is productivity now software is a program or you can say a group of program and now tell me what is a program program is just a set of instructions given to the computer like you run a paint program right you open paint and draw you open word and you type right same way programs are a set of instructions given to the computer and when a group of programs are there then we can, we say it as a software you would have been to you would have been to supermarkets and you go there and you can find a billing software they will be doing the billing using a barcode a gun like thing they will be using a barcode scanner to scan the lines on your products right then it will be converted into the item and the amount and the quantity they will enter and give then you will get the price list same way different programs are used and they we call them as software now microsoft has given a pack of that which has got different options it has got ms word excel powerpoint outlook access and one note okay word excel powerpoint outlook access one note you know word is a word processing tool you can type letters or you can type even question papers the question papers we do is done using ms word then you have excel it is a spreadsheet program you can see the icon on the screen green color icon is there that is a excel then we have powerpoint to do the presentations okay then you have the outlook for email and calendar management you can schedule and you can check your mail Microsoft Access is a database management program where which is used to save your data save your details in computer in an orderly manner. You have Microsoft OneNote it is a note taking application. You can just scribble, you can just type on the notes in that. So you have MS Office package is composed of Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, Access and OneNote. and in today's session we are going to learn about the microsoft excel microsoft excel is a spreadsheet application it is a spreadsheet application now what is a spreadsheet it is an accounting program for the computer you can do accounting in that accounting in the sense at your home your father will be doing the budget right what is the income of the family what are the different expenses and they will plan accordingly when you ask something uh, a bit costly then they'll say uh, okay ma you have to wait because uh, we are running tight our budget is tight so maybe next month we can see correct so the budget is done they'll calculate the income and the expense and all those things can be done easily by using a spreadsheet program and it is used to perform mathematical calculations you can do calculations whatever you want you can do the calculations in that for example when our teachers your teachers want to do a rank card or a rank list of your class obviously you have to find the total of all the students marks right you have the five different subjects and the total has to be calculated for each of the student for suppose there are 40 students in the class 40 times it has to be done so there is a shortcut for that we will do it in excel we'll open the file and we will type your name and you will type your individual marks then easily by pressing a few keys we can find the class average we can find the subject average 
the topper, the rank list, all those things can be done very, very easily. Another use is to convert the data, whatever data I have entered into various charts. I can make it as a chart form. I can enter the numbers and I can get a chart out of it. The different types of charts are available, bar chart, pie chart, donut chart. So all those things can be done by using a spreadsheet. Spreadsheets work on both numbers as well as text. It can help organize information like arranging in alphabetical order of names or in the descending order of numbers. Calculate and analyze information using formulas. Now we will see how to open Excel or how to start MS Excel. As you do with any program, you have to go to the which button? Start button. That is right. Start button. Go to all programs. Then go to Microsoft Office and go and click on Microsoft Excel. Another method is there is an icon. If there is an icon on the desktop shortcut for Excel, you can double click on that to open. Or the third method is go to the run menu. Go to the run menu. Start button. Run menu and type excel e x c e l your excel window will open the steps are shown there start all programs microsoft office and microsoft excel the shortcut icon on the desktop is also given there now we will see what is a worksheet and what is a workbook you you have a book and you have a number of sheets isn't it and a number of sheets are bound together to form a book same thing applies to a worksheet also a worksheet is a collection of cells where you keep and manipulate the data there are three worksheet by default you can add any number as you wish a workbook is just another word for your excel file it is a name for your excel file the file is called as workbook and the pages or individual sheets in that is called as a worksheet in the picture you can see at the bottom you can have sheet one sheet two and sheet three and you can add on any number of sheets as you please so what is worksheet worksheet is a collection of cells where you keep your data and you manipulate your data that is called as a worksheet it has got a number of rows and columns and workbook is just another name for your file a workbook can contain any number of worksheets having understood what is worksheet and what is workbook we will create a new file in excel that is called as a workbook go to the file menu and click on new file new next method is keyboard keyboard shortcut what is the meaning of keyboard shortcut you can press some keys on the keyboard as a shortcut method to open the file the keyboard shortcut to open a workbook is control plus n that means you press and keep the control key down you press it and keep it down hold it with one finger then with another finger you press the n key the alphabet key n on the keyboard press the control key down and along with that you press the alphabet key n that is a keyboard shortcut for control n then you go to the standard toolbar on the standard toolbar you have different options are there different icons you can see there okay the first one the first icon given in the standard toolbar is the new button click on the new button to create a workbook so three methods children file new control n or the new icon the parts of the excel screen are shown here you have on the first bar where microsoft excel book one is written with the sizing buttons that is called as a title bar followed by title bar you have the menu bar with options like file edit view followed by the menu bar you have the toolbar standard toolbar with the options like open save print and the formatting toolbar below that you have the name box in which a1 is written that shows the cell name next to that with one fx that is called as the formula bar 
whatever you enter in the excel worksheet cell is displayed in the formula bar also then you have the worksheet window you can see labels given a b c d that is called as a column headings columns are labeled and you have rows 1 2 3 4 and with the numbers 1 2 3 4 they are called as a row headings row are always numbered columns are labeled rows are numbered the intersection of a column and row is called as a cell you can find a cell there that is a1 the cell which is selected here appears in black box that is called as a1 then you have at the bottom navigation buttons to move to the next sheet and the previous sheet first sheet and the last sheet you have sheet tabs i told you there are three worksheets by default in a workbook three are there you can add as many as you want they are labeled as sheet 1 sheet 2 and sheet 3 are available in the form of tabs you can click on that and change the sheet these are the different parts of the excel screen then you can find a special character there that is called as a office assistant it will help you to do your work now on the picture you can see the title bar which has the title microsoft excel book 1 the book the excel sheet is not saved that's why it has got the name book 1 then you have the sizing buttons the minimize button maximize button and the close button next you have is a menu bar with the menu options file edit view insert format tools data window and help you can find the close button sizing buttons there also this is for your book 1 the first one was for your microsoft excel that was a program this is your file next is a toolbar and this toolbar options can be seen on the menu also you can if you click on file menu you get a file window and you can find the icons there also the parts of the window are explained here the first one is a title bar which shows the title this file is not saved that's why the name book 1 is given that is a default name that is appearing with the sizing buttons the maximize minimize and close button is there just below the title bar you have the menu bar which has a menu options file edit view it also has got the sizing buttons you can see minimize and you can see restore and the close button this is for your file book 1 the first one the window sizing buttons was for your application that is excel toolbar toolbar shows the standard tools that are available you can see them also in the menu options the icons are available also in the menu options like the file menu has got new open and save same all these buttons are available in the form of a toolbar followed by the toolbar you can find the headings so you can see a b c d they are headings they are called as a column headings then you have row headings also 1 2 3 rows are numbered and columns are labeled that also you can see there next you can find the formula bar where the formula whatever you are going to type as formula as well as whatever numbers or text you are typing in the cell is displayed in the formula bar as well as in the cell followed by that you have the address bar address bar or the name box it will show the name of the cell which is selected then at the bottom you can find the sheet tab it will display the number of sheets that are there by default there are only 3 sheets and you have the sheet navigation buttons also first file first sheet and last sheet then next sheet like that then you have the scroll bar to scroll through your worksheet you have your vertical scroll bar to move up and down and horizontal scroll bar to move to left or right children the intersection of a row and a column is called as a cell what is a cell the intersection intersection is meeting meeting of a row and column is called as a cell there can be active cell or selected cell here you can see the cell pointer is there in c3 how did miss identify that miss identified the column heading and the row heading that is how you label a cell cell pointer is there in cell cell c3 that is called as a active cell or the selected cell 
a cell pointer is in a rectangular color box right black color box then a group of cells together you are selecting a group of cells together it forms a block so you have cell active cell and a block in the picture you can find the row headings as well as the column headings with this we come to the end of today's session my dear children a small assignment for you list the parts of excel window just write the names of the parts of excel window in your class work take a snap of it and send it to my personal whatsapp number thank you stay safe and stay blessed